All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to The Walking Dead. So we made it to Crawford. We're in some sort of school. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Looks like these guys were sort of a... Uh, had a whole system. Group 1, Group B, Group C, whatever. Pretty cool. Ooh, look at that. The flag. Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. And, uh, yeah, it looks like... Uh, matters much now, I guess. I guess these guys must have got overran because there's nobody here. Hopscotch. I hated hopscotch. Do, 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 do. See that? All right. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. No power, no TV. Man, I do not miss school at all. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? <laughs> well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Doc and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Dude, Kenny's gonna kill you if you tell him. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? <laughs> Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real, real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Yeah, he's gonna get shot in the face like immediately after he tells him. Uh, it's gonna be bad when it happens too. Anyway, we gotta go meet up with that uh that girl. I forgot her name, but we're gonna go meet up with her and try and find some fuel. I think. Principles of Crawford: All illness and medical conditions to be disclosed. Children under fourteen not. Admitted without authorization. Huh. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Really, what's in that room over there? Zombies are in there, but why are they in there? The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? I'm coming. This reminds me of middle school. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly! You out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Deliveries made in the rear. Authorized motor Auto pool. Shop must be down this way. All right, Molly, where the hell are you going, man? Oh, what the fuck? Who's that? Someone over here? Someone trying to, uh... Be a funny guy? Cool, I'm getting stalked. That's awesome. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. Yeah, 
Hey, I can get up through here. Do a little hardcore parkour of my own. Hmm. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. I hope this isn't some sort of trap. Damn, it's jammed tight. Well, I guess we can keep looking. Maybe we can find something. Better not get too close. Alright, where the hell's Molly at then? She had to go this way. Whoa! Shit. Leave him. Fuck. He's mine. What were you doing up there? What the hell? Molly? Molly! What? What the hell do you think you're doing? It's dead already. I think you can lay off. Don't tell me what to do. You kill geeks your way, I'll kill him mine. Are you fucking crazy? Why is everybody in this fucking world nuts? He's that wearing me? medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah. But the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah. That'll work. God damn it. Alright, let's hurry up. Come on. Get that door open. I don't know how to work this thing. Wait. Is he still alive? What the fuck? You didn't hit him in the head? Wow, that's on Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Okay, because that one's definitely coming. Like a truck. Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. That'd be convenient. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Damn. Perfect. High powered hydraulics. The holes for the lift hydraulics. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. See, I need some scissors. Oh, there's an office back here. It's locked. Damn. No way in. I can't reach it up there. I need to get uh, some scissors. Maybe she can give me her thing. I need your knife. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not? Time's wasting. Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. 
she won't get a scratch. I've sort of learned through this game that anybody who names their I got weapons... got your promise now. Not a scratch. Anybody who names their weapons is sort of crazy. It seems like... I mean, the last guy who named his gun was a freaking cannibal. There we go. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! Take the battery out. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Fuck. Off. There we go. Got that one off. All right, come on. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Word. Stop complaining. Come on. Hardcore parkour. Damn, girl. This ain't Come the Matrix. On. What are you, chicken? Jump. I am not Neo. <sighs> All right. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it, that's a fucking hell of a drop. Oh God. Woo! Hardcore parkour! Well, that wasn't too bad. Come on! Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery! Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! What the fuck, lady? Damn it, what the hell is she doing? Seriously, the trick's doing something... bad. I think she's working in cahoots with those other guys. Burning. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Word. Well, shit, we don't have a battery now. Or Logan. Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. Little help! Oh, Little shit. help here! Oh! Too quick. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Fuck. The doors won't close all the way. Lee, do something. I got it this time. We got it. Break the door with something. There we go. Is that a hold? It damn well better. There's so many of them. You got the fuel! Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton.
You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Bree! Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? Cancer and then the apocalypse happens. That kind of sucks. How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. <laughs> How I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. No, I agree. Fuck these people. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Uh, yeah, whatever. I already got the battery. Anyway. Ah, uh, let's see. Look at the pamphlets. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Number of citizens to Crawford, number of ineligible citizens found. Oh, shit. Days since outbreak, number of walkers found. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Let's talk to... Man, let's get in this door already. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> what have you done for me lately? Isn't that like a <laughs> Chris, uh, Chris Rock joke or something? Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what this chick is doing, but I don't trust her. Alright, well, what the hell? Let's talk to Clementine, I guess. You okay, Clem? Yeah. You've seen These better days. This place just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. So do I, so do I. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Of course. Yeah. It may take a while, but yeah. I do. Don't you? I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Well... Let's see, I guess we can go help these other guys over here. Uh, I really don't know what I'm doing, actually. Where the fuck is Molly, man? 